Welcome back. And um, previous time I will explain about um, 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 what buffers is and um, demonstrated about the um, buffers uh, input stream and buffers upper stream, which is to read and write, uh, which is to read and write um, um, bytes using buffers. It's going to increase the performance. Uh, very similar, uh, you can um, use, so this one is um, buffers input stream and buffers output stream in order to read and write uh, bytes with buffers very um, intuitively you can use buffers um, 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 readers okay which is you know to um, um, use buffers buffers but to read um, 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 characters data characters this one is to um, read um, using buffers okay to read um, bytes okay this one is using buffers uh, to write um, bytes. Okay, this one is you know you also have buffers a writer, which is used to um, write characters. Okay, write characters instead of bytes. With with of course, with of course with um, um, um with um, um, buffers. Okay, you can use reader and writer to read and write bytes. Uh, sorry, characters. But then without buffers, it's slower, as I explained inside here. Okay, but if you have buffer readers and buffer writers, you're going to be able to um, read and write files. Okay, read and write files in an um, 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 easier manners. Okay, in easier manners. So let's just, um, just demonstrate about the um, buffer readers. Okay, you're going to use um, Java class. This one is you're gonna have um, um, buffers, um, readers, writer, demo. Okay, buffers, readers, and writers, demo. So um, let's say if you um, would like to um, write data to some files, okay, let me just, yep, yeah, okay, um, let's say if you would like to write some data to uh, some files, so anyway, you still have to have some uh, buffer um, writer, okay, in order to create the buffer writer, dw you go to a new buffer writer you need some writer okay let's say you're going to create new um, output stream um, writer okay output stream writer okay or you write to some output stream and this one you're going to write to uh, some um, 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 file so we're going to use some file output stream and to what file which is my file.txt Okay, you can always you can always separate. Okay, you can always separate. Uh, you know this new object creates and new object creates into several of the objects. You know, but so far I hope you did watch my previous video videos and and you are familiar with them. So I'm gonna um, change something to this one. Okay, one statement instead of several st separate statements. Then I would like to write some characters. I if I have this one, I can write a, a string. Okay, and can write a string. So I can write a string. Let's say it's a string ABC. I can, um, this one, I'm going to add the catch clause. Okay, I can write a new line. This one is um, um, write, um, uh, okay, you can write, um, oh, 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 I'm going to use that new line here. Okay, this one is write a line separator. So it's going to write a new line. Then you're going to take dw dot close to close drawer, to close drawer, um, 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 to close drawer, drawer um, um, application. But let's just um, draw, draw, um, to close drawer one, to close drawer um, 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 buffers writer. Why do we use buffers again for better performance as I explained before? Um, it is a writer so that we're going to work with characters and these times so we're going to work with uh, even a string. And if you run this one, you'll see some um, um, special thing that um, I would like you to see. So this one is we are having the buffers, readers, and writers. Uh, we have my file. Okay, it is here. Okay, it is here. A B C. Is it? Is it A B C? Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, um, make sure that you you close it as well. And just for safety, you should always use buffer writer dot flash. This flash will make sure that your data is gonna be written down there. Okay, but we have to close this one for safety. So if you close this one, let's say if you run it again, okay, if you run it again and you see from their project buffers, writers, okay, buffers, readers, buffer writer from this one, okay, buffer reader writers, and you have your file written there. Okay. Um, 
and 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 this one observes as well you'll see from here which is you know you have a new line here you have a new line here um, just by the way just by the way if you use this one is one way this one is one way but it's not as convenient as um, the one I'm going to um, show you here uh, especially for the new line here that um, um, you have to write it separately normally in practice you know, uh, I'm using this one I'm using this one you're going to use print writer okay print writer pw equal to new print writer this one is a, a convenience class okay it's a convenience it's a, how to say convenience it's a, a useful class that that's a, um, you're going to have a better implementation um, and you can write um, data to a file and other things okay in a more flexible way instead of writing this long thing you can write to a file using the string of the file which is my file dot txt you know you're going to speed up you dot write you know something else it, it was it was abc uh, before and right now we're going to write something else to that file and then you're going to take pw dot close okay and if you run this one and you see your file there my file and you don't have just something else over here and if you're using buffers make sure as well again to take pw dot flash this one is just to make sure okay sorry to make sure that you you flash your data there okay but normally normally um, you can write this one um, um, if you want a, um, a new line if you want a new line you can use more flexible methods which is to print line okay to print line you can print a lot of kinds of things here Okay, you can print an object, you can print a string, you can print primitive data types, so on and so forth. You know, it's very convenient to use. So this one is a print line. It is it is buffers too. Okay, it's it's buffers too. So you can write this one. Okay, you can write this one. So you're going to have okay, you're going to have draw files here and you see it does have a new line here. Okay, after print it's provide you a new line. It's a convenient way. Okay, so that you can work with uh, strings. Um, or objects or so on so forth it's in, in a very convenient way okay now um, I'm going to um, just demonstrate directly about the um, I already have buffers writers we're going to um, I'm going to demonstrate about the buffers readers as well so inside here we're going to uh, have um, um, read characters in order to read characters with a buffer sorry it's with a buffer okay with a buffer not only a simple one so we'll Create public static void main uh, string x. You're going to have a class which is called the uh, buffers um, reader bw equal to new buffers readers. Okay, and that buffers readers is going to create from new um, input stream readers. Okay, and that input stream reader is going to create from new. Um, um, file input stream because we are reading from a file what file which is uh, my file dot txt that we created before okay and it's now currently written something else here this one my file txt and and uh, we're going to surround this statement with try catch and especially if you use buffer reader okay it is new from uh, beside better performance uh, it can do one thing which is you know string line equal to bw dot read line as well read line okay you can read the whole lines instead of you know um, instead of just a, a string and read line here read line here will dominate at, um, the new lines of course okay this one you add the catch clause and you're going to um, display the line the line red which is the line there Okay, which is a line there. So you, oops, sorry, if you um, press run, it's gonna run this default main, and um, you wanna run this file. So right click on this one, run file. Okay, the line read is something else. Okay, the line read is something else. Okay, so if you have only one line and you and, and you wanna and you wanna read um, another time, this one is line equal to buffer read that read once more. Okay, if you read once more, you're going to say there another line another line plus line okay if you want to read once more okay sorry this one must be um, right click and run far you see the another line is known so what does it means it means that you have only one line here you have only one line here the other line is known so if you read the first time if you read the first time okay if you read the first time the line is the line which is this one 
which is this one, something else. But if you read another time, if you read another time, the liner is known, is known, okay, is known. Uh, that is the one for you to, um, that is the one for you to, if you would like to use the for loop to read your data, okay, if you would like to use the loop to read your data, not the for loops, okay, you can just make while true, yeah, to read your data and you're going to declare string line equal to uh, buffer reader dot read line okay if line uh, is equal to norms we're going to break out of the loop mean no more data to read else else you're going to display the line okay you're going to display the line so inside here we have only one line so if we run it you know, right click on this one it's going to display one line. So if you have another line, okay, if you have another line, and if you execute this one, right click and run far, okay, it's gonna have something else and another line as we have over there, as we have over here, okay. That is about the um, buffers, um, readers, okay, buffer writers and print writers as well. And I think that's it for um, I think that's it for um, 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 Java IO packages. Okay, Java IO packages. There are many things. If you feel it's too if you feel it's too um, difficult to memorize, just summarize them. This one is working with bytes. Okay, this one is working with uh, primitive data types. This one is working with characters. This one is working with object. You know, buffers. You know, buffers. You can work with in a byte using a buffer. You can work with characters using a buffer. And especially there is one more class which is very useful and it does use buffers as well, which is the print writer. Okay, this one is very useful class that you very frequently use. That's why I demonstrated it here too. Okay. Print writers. Actually I should separate it into another video but just by the way I was demonstrating a buffer um, um, writers I put print writer there. Should separate them. See you.